Yo, what's up, guys? It's Nick from Big Ants Gaming. Welcome back to another MLB The Show 22 Diamond Dice videos. Today, we have a pack opening. I don't think anything's coming out today. Uh, if we look at the calendar, there's literally nothing for August 5th. If they do release, like, a headliner here, let me just check my notifications for MLB The Show. Uh, but basically, since there's nothing coming out today, or at least I assume there is nothing coming out today... Uh, I have a ton of packs to open. I have all of the shark map packs, uh, a bunch of other packs as well from like, what, from what else? From player of the month, from the featured program. I have so many packs, 61 show packs, 12 ball ins, two ball in out of control, one, two, three, four, five, six headliners, a Takashi pack, classic stadium, cover athlete, diamond ball player, Two big dogs, two always intense, a headliner choice pack, Takashi choice pack, one all-star game pack, and two home run derby packs. So yeah, I have a ton of packs. So without further ado, let's just get into it. The thing about this pack opening is I did not buy a single one of these packs. That is just why I love MLB The Show is because they just give you so much free stuff and all you have to do is just play the game. And the more you play, the more stuff you'll get. And that's what makes this game so much better than Madden Ultimate Team and my team in 2K and whatever they have in NHL and in FIFA, where now I don't have a ton of experience, but I can say it's a, the no money spent is a lot more challenging in those games, or at least that's normally what I hear about those games as we get a, a gold, but Okay, there's a chase pack. Let me open that right away. And they did make it diamond guaranteed, which I love. All right, give me something. And no, it's a purple. Purple, Braves, who is this? Is it, a, no, it's not Acuna, he's not a purple. Is that Max Freed? One of the newer diamonds, he's literally a quick sell, yeah. So I'll just quick sell him right away, but Anyway, yeah, th that's just what I love about MLB Show is that you can literally just do no money spent. I mean, I spent a lot of money the first day to get Randy Johnson, and then since that, I haven't spent a single dollar. And I'm probably going to do no money spent for the whole year next year, just because, the, it, it, just because of the accessibility of all these packs and rewards that they give you, which is honestly what's keeping me playing this game. Okay, another diamond. I cut ahead. Uh, here we go, and it's another purple. Another quick sell, Edwin Diaz, most likely, or, or Pete Alonso. And it's Edwin Diaz. <laughs> okay, that was probably cringe, but yeah, Edwin Diaz, his, his, his uh, whatever you call dog, the, the entrance is just, it's it. Even from Yankees fan, like, it's just dope. It just is. He is a quick sell, though, so I'll just quick sell him. 43 show packs to go nothing out of that all right let's see what we can get i'm hoping to gain a lot of stubs and profit because i coming off of those two collections i spent a lot of stubs like a lot so i would love 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 to just get a stub boost i already put some stubs into live series investments which is a video that i'm going to be making later but you can never have enough stubs in this game, especially with the Field of Dreams program coming out. You never know what's gonna happen. They might drop this, they might drop that, and you'll need the stubs, so yeah. Five show packs to go. I've just been shredding through these, not really getting much ever since those two diamonds. Got one of them out of a chase pack. Got one of them in these packs. So, I mean, you know, two quicks on diamonds. I guess I'll take them. I'm not gonna add too much to my account. One more show pack, but after the show pack is where we really start getting the heavy hitters. We got 12 ball in his habit packs, one to 15 odds, so I should have a solid chance. That's not how it works though. Like it's not, it, every pack is one to 15. It's not like if you have 15 packs, you're guaranteed a diamond, but I'm just saying that the chances of me not getting a diamond out of 12 ball and a half ball and as a habit packs i i should ultimately get one although we have eight left and i still don't have a diamond yet Let's see what we can get hopefully something 
I mean, these golds are definitely going to give me some stubs. You know, overall, like 12 ball impacts, it'll probably give me like 15 golds, maybe 16. That's kind of just the, the value of a diamond. Or maybe a little more expensive than one diamond. So whatever, you know, it, it, it's whatever with these packs. There's a double gold. We got two more. Another gold. One more. And a diamond. Oh, okay. All right. Last ball pack was not expecting a diamond. See who it is. It is a quick sell diamond. All purples are quick sell diamonds. Phillies is who is that? Oh, is that Aaron Nola? Yeah, Aaron Nola. All right, third diamond of the day. You know, always take them, but they're quick sells. So I'll quick sell that. Two ball and out of control packs. One a three to diamond. One one for gold. I will say about these packs. The first time I opened this pack, I've only opened one ever. I got Ronald Acuna Jr. <laughs> so hopefully I continue that luck. And we get a diamond. All right. Okay. Let's see who it is. Okay. It's another purple. Fourth diamond of the day. Fourth purple of the day. Cardinals. I don't even know if there's a single purple that isn't quick sell value. Nolan Arenado. Most definitely quick sell value, right? Yeah. Quick sell that. 7K though is pretty solid. Another ball and out of control pack. And we don't get a diamond. Okay. So, I mean, five diamonds so far is pretty good. We have six headliners. Let's see what we can do with these. Nothing out of that. A set 30. Nope. Set 33. I don't even know who is who. Like, I have no idea who the headliner is. It's Robert Hassel. I actually just got traded. He was in the Juan Soto deal. Set 34, Houston Street. I guess I could get my subs back from him if I pull him. Nope. Set 35, this is the Morneau. Uh, so he is brand new. You know, would be nice to pull him. Let's see if we can pull him. Diamond. No, we do not pull Justin Morneau. Another freaking purple diamond. I mean, these are good. These are, will get me TikTok views. <laughs> Shout out to you guys if you're watching on TikTok. But we don't want these buzzer boys. Like, we just don't. Quick sell immediately. <laughs> all right, Takashi pack. These are dirt cheap. Yeah, these are like almost quick sell. I'll just. Which one's the most expensive? Mickey 71, 69. Yeah, I'll just go with Mickey and just go 7101. And then just, yeah, just sell that. Classic Stadium. I'm happy that it's even above quick sell value. Cover athletes. Also at like pretty much quick sell. 89 for Maurer. I, I like you know whatever. Just do an hour. Like who cares? Eight nine seventy, eight nine sixty nine. Nice. All right. Diamond ball player. Okay. Cleats seven k, and these are like quick sell. Okay. So I'll take that. Nice little seven k from those cleats. Big dogs. These are all quick sell value. So you just take the highest overall because it gives you the most stubs. Set two. Same thing here. They're all the same overall though, so it doesn't really matter. Always intense. Set one. These are pretty cheap. And the base are quick sell, and it's the base. So I'll just take the 91, get the most value out of it. Set two. These are not quick sell value. I would love to pull Brian Wilson. And we don't. Alright. Uh, these are not quick sell, so I'll just take. So that was 13.5. Okay. 13.694. 13693. Set 22 headliners. It's Vidal Bruhan. Not very expensive. 1 to 3 for 90 plus, one, and 1 to 3 for an 85 plus. Let me take a uniform. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, nothing too special, but I'll take Jason Kendall because I don't have him. That's nice. Takashi Pack. All right. These four packs could really, really give me a stub boost. Not necessarily too much with these, because like these are around 40k, and these are around like 15. I would I would love just a rare round on this, and then all of those. But Takashi, no, we do not get the rare round. Okay, Gagne is the most expensive. Let's go 17, 289. No, don't. 17, 289. All-star game. These are around 120 for the rare. 30 for the mid and then quick sell for the base come on at least give me the mid no we do not we get the base just quick sell that 
Home run derby. We got two packs. I do not have Julio Rodriguez. He was the card that I skipped. Okay, or not. This is the mid-tier, right? I mean, they, they're worth, like, basically base-tier cards, though. 13, 8. Okay, they're both 13, 8, 8, 8. So I'll just do 13, 8, 8, 7. SDS. I do not have Julio Rodriguez. Please bless my account with Julio Rodriguez. Nope. Okay. All right. Uh, so I didn't really pull anything out of these special packs except that one headliner. 986. But I mean, it's free stops. Is that even going to get me quick sell value? 11, 986, 119. Yeah, I think it will be. But yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get a ton of stubs from all those duplicates and selling everything. So yeah, it's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've been your host, Nick from Big Ants Gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.